పెంచుకున్నదంగా రూపాయి హౌ టు చూస్ ఐ మీ సపోజ్ టు బాయ్ అ ఫీమేల్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఉన్నదంగా ఆర్ అ మేల్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఉన్నదంగా ఐ విల్ ఆన్సర్ ఆల్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో నమస్తే ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు లెట్స్ లర్న్ మృదంగా మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ ఈషా ప్రసాద్ ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ గెటింగ్ లాట్స్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ రిగార్డింగ్ విచ్ మృదంగం టు బాయ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ లుకింగ్ అట్ ఆన్లైన్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఇన్ స్టోర్ ఆప్షన్స్ బట్ దే ఆర్ గెటింగ్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ ఆన్ choosing the right mridanga most of the time people who get impressed upon the music and wanted to try for the first time without having any background they will get lots of questions and doubts so do we need to make a decision on whether my son needs to buy a male pitch mridanga or it's for my daughter i need to buy a female pitch mridangam no it does not work in that way as you all know mridangam is a laya vadya we also call it as pakka vadya that means it's an accompanying instrument for an accompanying instrument it all depends on who is going to sing or what is the pitch in which all the singers or most of the singers sing at so especially all the kids and ladies they will have a shruti which is we say either 5 with a number say in kannada uh, we say aidane mane or in tamil it's anj katte so in the same way in western terminology we either say g for five so what is this g now it all starts with the letter c say for example the first shruti starts with c so c d e f g a b that's how it gets distributed we know saptaswaras right so think that it's all starting from sa so c d e f g a and b so in uh, indian terminology carnatic terminology what we say is the shruti is number 1 number 1 shruti or 2 3 4 5 6 7 that's how we say we differentiate so when it comes to western and reiterate it starts with c so c d e f g a and b and there are few in between shrutis also say for example between c and d there is come something called c sharp okay that is nothing but one and half we say that's the shruti number okay in the same way between d and e there is something called d sharp okay or sometimes it's also uh, shown as e flat we say in karnataka sangeetha that is two and a half shruti number is two and a half and then in the same way say for example f f sharp g g sharp okay so it's like four and half five and half that's how we indicate so a a sharp or it it might be uh, or a put as b flat something like that so what i'm trying to say is most of the time the safer bet to buy the mridangam is g sharp that is female shruti mridangam even if you are a boy or a man when you are accompanying your mridangam should be in sync with the singer's voice so most of the time as i said 
the younger kids and ladies will be singing somewhere around G, G sharp pitch. So it's better to buy a mridangam in the same uh, range, kick range. So which is suitable for G, sometimes referred to as female Shruti mridangam. So starting from F sharp to um, A sharp, uh, most of the ladies uh, would sing. And sometimes when it comes to gents, if you are a uh, no, well-versed artist or you want to have a, a two different mridangam, then say for a lower pitch or lower shruti uh, matching, you would have to go for a mridangam which is uh, having say B or C range. Okay? So it's like C, C sharp or uh, no, B, um, that kind of a range you can easily cue in that mridangam. So always remember, if you are a beginner, go for female Shruti mridangam which is 5, that is Shruti number is 5. It can be uh, fifth house, we say, or Aidine Mane, or Anjikatte, right? So, in different terminologies, in different languages, we try to express the fifth Shruti. So, now, you understood the lower pitch, that is like C, B and C kind of a thing. And then the higher pitches, say the, the female shrutis starting from say F sharp to A sharp. What about the middle ranges? Say for example, D, E, right? All those uh, middle ranges. Most of the flutists or flautists uh, to be uh, accurate, they prefer D sharp flutes. Even for uh, Veena, most of the time, they will go for E-pitch Veena. And even for violin, many of the uh, musicians and students, they will go for E or D-sharp to be on the safer side. Why? So that is kind of in a not too thicker string, not too thinner string. So uh, that's how uh, they uh, choose the instrument. So, if you are planning to accompany any instruments, so if it is that is that is what is uh, more often you do, then you will have to go for a mridangam which can range between D to E. So, hope this is all clear. Safer bet is five. That is the female shruti mridangam. And if you want to have one more in the lower range. You can buy one more of C range and uh, if you are going for uh, synthetic mridangam like free mridangam only two are enough as I mention all the time go for one uh, female shruti mridangam and then one lower um, gent mridangam so I hope it's all clear now and you are going to make a right choice in buying a mridangam do let me your thoughts and comments in the comments box below. Take care, keep practicing. Namaste.